Hey y'all, welcome to another video from Reckonow.com. Well, the annual surf fishing trip to the Alabama coast is just around the corner. We typically take two cars with my dad renting a van to carry his rods. And with the rental companies selling their fleets, there's not many vans left to rent. So what we're going to do is build a transport tube for the rods that will go on top of their Subaru Forester. So the instructions for this can be found in the link in the description of the video. It uses these adjustable brackets that will attach to any roof rack on a car or truck. All you need to do is put them on upside down and then you can uh, slide that angle as tight as it can and then just lock them in place by uh, screwing in this adjustable bolt. So once you get that locked in, you're going to flip it over um, and this is the actual configuration you'll use to hold the um, rod tube. So let's do a walkthrough of actually putting this on the truck. So I have the detailed instructions of how to build the rod tube. It's fairly simple compared to the brackets. But all you need to do is put it on the rack of the truck and just try to center it evenly over the top. And then we'll turn to putting the brackets on. I'll do a close up of putting one bracket on and then we'll kind of fast forward through the other one because you do it the exact same way. So just slide the bracket on from the bottom and then center the pipe over the bracket. Then you can slide the U-bolt over the top. And sometimes it can be tricky getting these in there. Not all the U-bolts have the same spread on them, but just tighten up the nuts on each side of it. And you just want it hand tight initially. We'll uh, tighten it up at the end once we square it up. So once one side's tightened, just get the other U-bolt, feed it over the top, and do the same thing. So at this point, both U-bolts are installed. It's just a matter of evenly tighten both brackets. I use an impact driver here, and you just turn each of them a little bit. You want it snug against the top or the bottom of the rack, and you don't want to shift it to one side because if you tighten on one side, it will actually pull the bracket the other way. You can also crush the pipe if you tighten it too much, so just be careful here. You only want it tight enough that it won't slide. For the last bracket, we're actually just going to fast forward through it. It's the same steps that you just followed. You just want to tighten it enough that the pipe will not slide. And at this point, you could really hang on the pipe and it wouldn't move. It's rock solid. It's ready to be traveled with. It's now just a matter of gathering up your rods. So there's a threaded cap on the end. You just need to undo that. And so here's a tip. Uh, when you transport your rods, always put them in a rod sock. That'll protect the eyes of the rods. So I have two 7-footers here, and I actually have a 12-foot surf rod that's in a single rod sock. Just slide them in. If you follow the blog post, you'll know that there's a padded end on the far end. And what I'm doing now, I actually forgot the padding piece for the back end. All you need to do is take that padding, insert it into the end, and then screw the threads back in. All that padding is is a grout sponge cut into the shape of the pipe. You just push that in there to keep the rods from shifting around too much and then thread on the cap. And now everything should be good and as you can see in this video clip it, it travels quite well. If you have any ideas of how I can improve it just leave me a comment but I hope it serves you well wherever it is you're going fishing.